Hi, this is Martin from Printer Potty. What we're doing in this video is showing you how to reset the waste counter on the Canon G5050 Megatank. Uh, we're going to use the WIC reset tool, uh, the Printer Potty version, um, to do this, and we have a reset key with which to do that. We need to have our Printer Potty utility, which I'm now going to open up. You will immediately be greeted with this greeting screen or welcome screen. Um, best thing to do in this particular instance is close assistant for this session. So just click on this bit here. Now, these instructions appear to be slightly wrong for the G5050. As you can see at the moment, this is just showing as the Canon G5000 series. If I turn the printer on, like this and it says ready to print initially and then it says contact service center support code 1700 that is the error code for the waste ink counter so turn the power off and wait for the printer to shut down printer is taking a sweet time shutting down so we'll just wait for it to finish great all the lights have stopped flashing, printer is powered down. We can now start over. The actual process we're going to use is press and hold the power button. Now we, and watch this light here, we press once. We see that one's gone off. Press twice, press three times, four, and then five. We now release the power button. And what you see on the little screen there is just a big black blob. But what we're going to do now is take ourselves back to the computer, click on refresh detected printers list. We've got our printer in service mode. So now what we're going to do is click on clear waste counters. You then get this um, whole series of warnings. Make sure you've read through all of these. Now, the first one tells you that the area you're looking for is 5B00. Now in this case, the G5050, um, the error is actually 1700. Okay, so this does not apply. Additionally, point two, make sure the printer has recognizable ink cartridges when applicable. Well, it's not applicable, but I have made sure that there is sufficient ink in the reservoirs before I do the reset. The reason you wanna do that is because you don't want your printer to start doing a priming routine, which it may well do, um, with no ink or insufficient ink in the tanks. So I've got my tanks all at least three quarters full. Um, make sure the USB cable is of good quality. Yep, we've done that, that's fine. It's all connected up properly. And Canon, all Canon processes and, uh, processes and services are disabled. Again, yes, we've made sure of that. Um, might end up doing a separate video for that, but we don't have to worry about that one right now. And as it says, failure to follow these, well, this, these instructions may lead to errors, in which case the reset key may be lost. Yeah, in other words, you could end up basically with the reset failing because a service intervenes or something like that. So it's important to double check everything is working as it should. Okay, anyway, I'm happy that everything's ready. So I'm now gonna click on yes. You now need your WIC reset key and I've got one we use for this particular demo. I then click on OK. Congratulations, your waste printer's waste counter has now been reset. Please remember to replace the waste ink pad or fit an external tank. This is now done. We have already fitted an external waste tank, so that's good. Um, we now click OK. Next thing we need to do is go to the printer. So we're gonna turn the printer off. and wait for the printer to shut down again. We are now going to turn our printer back on. There we go, ready to print. There we go. Error is cleared, it's ready to print, which is brilliant. So our reset has worked, there you go. That is the process for resetting the waste counter on this Canon G5050. 
This will work for any of the 5000 series, um, such as the 5020, 5050, and I imagine 5060, etc. Um, they're all basically different zone versions um, or geographical zones versions of exactly the same printer. Now that we have reset the waste counter, powered the printer off, and then powered it back on again, what we should find is if we now refresh detected printers list, we now get Canon G5000 series back up, so it's no longer in service mode, and we can use it as normal. 